The north central states of Nigeria have been witnessing large scale population displacement caused by experts in criminal activities such as kidnappings and attacks by headsmen, as well as communal clashes. Yet, the region is regarded as an emerging political hub. In this special report, correspondent Samson O'Malley attempts to find answers to the North Central Nigerian questions of identity, political engagements, and the threat posed by security. The report. North Central Nigeria includes Plateau, Benue, Nasarawa, Kogi, Kwara, Niger, and the FCT. With an estimated population of over 18 million people, the cosmopolitan nature of the region acts as a balance of culture, religion, and ethnic affiliation between the north and south of Nigeria. But the region is yet to harness its abundant human and natural resource. I can still tell you that the north central zone is as marginalized, even if it's no more marginalized than, than ever before. If there will be a better Nigeria, if there will be a progressive Nigeria, if there will be a developmental Nigeria, it's from the North Central. It's the most diverse uh, zone in this country where you have different shades of people in terms of ethnic groups, in terms of religion, in terms of belief, so on and so forth. So I expect that the North Central will be more united to confront the security challenges, but that is seriously lacking. Senator Jonah Jang has been governor in three out of the six states that make up the geographical zone. If you look at the, the, the geopolitical of this country, we are not like the far north. We are not like the Ebos. We are not like the Midwest. We are not like the West. We are unique as, as a people too. In 2019, most states in the region witnessed large-scale population displacement fueled by criminal and communal conflicts. The political leaders in the region have been identified as responsible for the security challenge as well as the near absence of governance in the region. Just the North Central that is not as coordinated as other zones. Where you find the North, sorry, the Southeast governors meeting as a zone, the Southwest governors meeting as a zone, irrespective of their political standing or their political beliefs. That is what is lacking in the North Central. Even when we have the Senate president, of what best did they have? Then you go to governance also, what do we have? So even when you have people from the zone, people that claim they are the, the leaders in the zone, at the end of the day, they play politics of isolation and politics of either religion or ethnicity. And at the end of the day, for that divide, even the North Central. The strategic role the region plays in stabilizing regional politics is making leaders from the zone to make critical demands ahead of the 2023 elections. This idea of zoning the presidency north and south, we have said no. If you are zoning to the geopolitical areas, if the south wants to remain as one, that's their own problem. But we, the Middle Belt, want to have our own turn to produce the presidency of this country. The North Central, which has more ethnic nationalities than any region of Nigeria, must produce leaders with selfless interest alongside a people-centric agenda for the future survival of the people from the area. From just the Plata State Capital, Samson Omale, STV News.